first line treatment for mild dry eye begins with artificial tear supplementation. As recent as six months ago, we have found great success with a new mineral oil tear supplement called Retain MGD. In my practice, we have found Retain to be a blessing as I've had many patients mention the drops work quite well in reducing their symptoms. Next in the lineup for treatment is the addition of low potency, low side effect steroid eye drops. Lotamax and Alrex are steroid drops which reduce inflammation related to moderate to severe dry eye. Such drops are needed when patients have severe burning, itchy, red eyes. The drops work quite well and can be used for long periods of time without the worry of side effects seen in the older version of these drops. In severe dry eye, we pulse the steroids every four to six weeks to keep inflammation down. Another dry eye medication often seen advertised on TV is a medication named Restasis. Restasis blocks the attraction of the immune system to the gland that produces our own natural tears. The immune response I speak of can cause damage to the tear glands resulting in inflammation and scarring of the gland. This is a prescribed medication that has had promising results in our patients. For more immediate relief, our doctors can perform a very successful procedure that increases the volume of the tears within the eye. The procedure is known as punctal occlusion. It is a quick, easy, painless procedure that increases the tear volume of the eye by placing a small 0.3 to 0.4 millimeter silicone plug and it blocks the area where the tears drain out of the eye. Many patients have had great success with punctal occlusion, so much so that patients can reduce the number of medications or eye drops needed to relieve their dry eye symptoms.